been forgotten, I do. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton I do? Did I have been forgotten, I do. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton I do? Hey, good evening, guys, gals. Ted from Pewview Farms here. It is Monday evening. This is a little after, uh, let's just say, 7 o'clock. Chores are done, and uh, we're just out here checking on things. Um, kind of just doing a little customary uh, check, check on everybody. Um, the maternity ward is <clears throat> still full with our two calves that were born uh, last week. Um, basically we haven't had any more calves, so it's just easier to let these guys kind of just chill out in here. Um, don't really have to worry about them too much. I gonna say, we still got some pretty, a couple deep mud holes around and I uh, just, it, I feel better that way. So, um, these guys, a uh, really quick story. We were doing chores this weekend and the gate forgot to get closed. Yeah. And uh, we ended up chasing two pigs for about, oh, let's just say an hour. <laughs> yeah. We had to get the, our uh, lasso ropes out, and uh, <laughs> we chased them into a swamp that was about knee deep. The pigs were in heaven. I was not. Um, <laughs> and uh, we ended up getting them. We got them lassoed, and uh, basically we very slowly walked them back to the house. But... Uh, we did end up getting them. I honestly counted those pigs good as gone. Uh, they've only been here a couple weeks. They're not familiar with the territory. I honestly thought that they were going to scoop. Um, but they hung right out in the area. We got pretty lucky. I figured somebody was going to have to end up shooting them and having a little bit of early pig dinner. So, yes, uh, no more calves yet. Um, we do have uh, two cows that are so close. Um... I would say within a day or two, um, you can see she swelled up pretty good. But uh, there was another two cows here somewhere. Oh, well. Anyways, yeah, there is. Uh, I'm expecting this first round, which I would consider calves within the month of May, to be right around six calves. Um, the rest of them, I'm not really sure when they're going to pop in, so... Um, yeah, yeah, we're just out here just checking, uh, getting everybody, giving everybody a nightcap, making sure everything's good to go. So, um, everybody looks happy, happy. Um, we have enough hay to suffice everybody's needs until they go across the street and head into the pasture, which is going to be very soon, if not maybe this weekend. I know I planned on uh, Memorial Weekend, and uh, it should be possible. I don't have a whole lot to do over there. So I just got to get a little bit more fence fixed to uh, get the hot wires generated. And uh, we got the uh, gas line. Didn't get subsoiled, but we did do it with a trencher Sunday morning. So that is done. So that won't be laying inside the pasture. That was the biggest thing. So we can uh, take care of that. Okay, as you guys can see, we are in the uh, calf only area. Well, it was calf only area. All right, well, what happened here, guys, is we let the calves out this weekend. And uh, the calves came in here. We kind of just, you know pushed them in here and uh, the calves loved it you know they were running around in here 
they weren't being bugged um it was you know really comfortable for them and uh mama's was not having that and basically as you can see i had to take down the uh calf only uh entrance and move it to the side why because we oh i, I knew i was zoomed in <laughs> because uh we had uh, mamas jump the fence they wanted their calves pretty pretty bad so we had to end up uh taking that down and that was actually at the same moment that we realized we had two pigs running wild <laughs> So there was a lot of commotion going on at that point in time. Very interesting how it all turned out, but uh, we managed. That was a night to definitely not forget, to say the least. So, yeah, there's uh, there's another one right there. Yep, she's starting to bag up pretty good. So she ain't going to be far along. And if I'm not mistaken... I think there's two of them down there. Oh yeah, there. She's definitely bagged up. And uh, yeah, you can tell she is too. Red? No. <laughs> I don't know about red. That right there, guys. Uh. I believe that's the site of uh, number two calf being born. Um, that's right there about where I found the afterbirth. And it, some other mom must got that scent. And she just keeps kicking and pawing at the ground. Kind of weird. <laughs> you would think she's a bull or something. Must be something that they do if they find the scent of another calf and uh, afterbirth and whatever else, whatnot is there. Huh. All right, guys, uh, gals, as you guys can see, we're uh, heading down next door. Uh, it's my parents' house. Uh, yes, for those of you who don't know, I do live next to my parents. Um, this is kind of a quick uh, view of the property. Um, that is my place right there. And uh, I built that, uh, let's see, 21, 26. 17 years ago, we built that house. Um, uh, property was the right price. Um, I'm a fan of the area, so how could I go wrong, guys? So yes, I built. I live next to my mommy and my daddy. <clears throat> but no, yeah, all right. As you guys can see in the background, <laughs> we got some more red. Um, this is kind of our little lot where we just keep our trailers. Uh, that corn planter, uh, those of you who follow me on Facebook can uh, see that that corn planter is for sale. I do have a gentleman coming to look at it Wednesday. Um, I think we got a reasonable price on it. I'd really like to get rid of it here pretty soon. So, but there they are, guys. There they are. We got a couple. Uh, I must be zoomed in again. I am. There we go. Couple new purchases here on uh, Pewview Farms. We got a international 
utility 340 uh, this has hydraulics it has a remote here on the side which I think is kind of neat must have been you know uh, set up for a post pounder or something like that and uh, it does have a set of rear hydraulics um, this tractor guys we are going to keep I am not trying I am not going to resell this tractor this is going to be a perfect perfect hay tractor um, it is gas uh, ours I honestly can't tell you I don't know I haven't looked yet uh, we just picked them up Sunday morning my dad did and uh, here they sit and they both have junk batteries and that's why you see them as they were because if they didn't have junk batteries basically these would be sitting in one of our garages somewhere and uh, so we gotta get two new batteries and uh, get these things but they run they had them running they just had to run a set of jumper cables beside to get them on the trailer so but no this thing is going to be one of our hay tractors this is going to be perfect for our v-rake or even our tether you know we got the remote for it to uh, uh lift the uh, rake up and down as is the uh whatchamacallit the uh tether also so gonna be nice to have a spare tractor around for doing hay um really excited about this especially to learn how to operate like i said i don't know a whole lot about this tractor um they were for the right price so we ended up buying both it was kind of a somewhat of a package deal um let's see i don't even know if there is an hour meter on there i'm actually just gonna hold it up there and then i can look back on the video and see what the hour meter is because i'm kind of curious myself so yes sir we got a 340 international utility on the farm and we got ourselves a uh, W4 in very, very good condition. Um, how come my phone keeps zooming in? This tractor is for resale. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot of research on this yet. I believe it is a 1953 or a 54 and it's got new rubber they did have it running but like I said this was the one also that they had to have jumper cables hooked to a vehicle right beside it to drive it up on the trailer um, if you guys that know about your antique tractors you're gonna know a hell of a lot more than I do uh, especially this uh, little thing here up by the steering wheel i have no clue what that lhd and b twist knob thing is uh so we're gonna end up trying to resell this uh we have a price in mind tell you what i'm not gonna really say what we have in mind but uh if anybody's interested don't be afraid to ask and uh, we'll talk um it's an antique that's for sure it's got the pulley to drive the big belt that you know for thrashers uh silo unloaders i mean god probably tons of things that these tractors were used for balers uh i could go on and on and on sawmills so she is one of the original things uh, uh this was a, a full restore nothing to do with me but uh I imagine there's probably some serial numbers and stuff here that uh, people that follow this kind of stuff. Yeah, like right there in the block is some stuff. I'm not sure though. Um, let's see. This is the first really that I've done much looking at this. Oh, you know what? Well, those are just gauges. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about this tractor. So, I just really quickly wanted to uh, show you guys the uh, new purchases here on Pewview Farms. We got a W4, an old uh, farm all. Actually, no, McCormick. I don't see farm all on it. And then the uh, International 340 Utility. 
which like I said that tractor's staying that is going to be a nice tractor to have here on the farm for doing hay so wanted to share that with you guys we got those Sunday and I was meaning to do a video Sunday and it was kind of a, a busy day we had a lot going on especially across the street I had some people willing to come over and help out get that gas line buried and stuff like that so it's just a very busy day so that being said guys I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll throw in some clips from the weekend in this video also Uh, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Please do. Uh, that being said, guys, I look forward to talking to you all real soon.